The story of the Ark is loosely derived off the fictional tale of Noah's Ark, a story where a great flood is incoming and one man must collect all animals and put them onto a boat for safety. And I guess everything else drowns or something. But anyway, I've always wondered what it would be like if that type of thing could actually happen in Ark. And with the help of my buddy Alex who made this mod for me, that dream has become reality. So guys, go ahead, do me a favor, hit the like button. It helps me greatly. And uh, yeah, let's get our feet wet. Okay, so we got about a minute before the ocean starts rising up. Should I start collecting dodos now or should I wait till later? Because we're going to need to repopulate the world. And the only way to do that is through dodos and me. I don't want to be part of the dodo orgy. I really don't. So my plan is immediately try to get to the point where I can make a raft. That is probably going to be my only way of surviving. So let's see. Let's just try and grab as much fiber as we can. And then we can start working on the wood and the other stuff afterwards. Um, also, explore notes. We've got one ahead of us here. We got a bunch of other ones over here. I know there's like a 4X one, and it's just like on the side of a cliff up ahead here. So if we can get to that one, then great. If not, then I don't know. Let's grab this one, though. It's right here. Boom. So that's going to give us a bunch of levels. Let me just try and at least get working with some stuff here. Okay, let's get that. And then, oh, we got the ocean. It's starting to rise. Uh, let's do that. And then the rest into wait for the moment. And let's try and grab this. So some textures are like weirdly messed up. I'm not really sure what's causing that. My computer could be having a stroke right now, considering the fact that we're using a really, really heavy mod. Um, but I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I really don't know what the hell's causing that. That is super weird looking. So it doesn't look like it's coming that fast. I don't know how long we're going to have before we're going to have to do this. Oh, great. I'm thirsty. It's not like, you know, there's a giant amount of water incoming here. Oh, that is filling up quick. Oh, okay. Uh, so the explore note, it's like on the edge of this cliff here somewhere. I gotta find it though. So one thing that I feel like is incoming is a massive lag spike as the world kind of fills up. There's the explore note. Um, I should probably wait till the water gets a little bit higher and then we can drop down and grab that. Um, let's see, let's do this. Campfire, anything else I need? I don't know if I'm gonna really need a bow. Um, yeah, I can't really fight water with a bow. How high is this water? Oh, that is, that's coming quick. Let me just hop off and grab this then. Boom. All right. How many levels did that give me? Eight. Okay. That's a good amount. Uh, a bunch into weight because we're going to need to carry a bunch of wood to be able to make this raft and one into oxygen. Okay, cool. Um, oh my, are you actually kidding me? This is really coming fast. We're already 34 meters of water, additional water on this map. That is so ridiculous. Oh, this is all going to be full. Yeah, look at that. No way. Okay, we gotta. We just got to keep rushing in this direction here because there's like a little hill. Um, I think there's another explore note on like the edge of this or on the top or something. So if we can get to that, then great. Uh, if not, then that's going to suck. Can I even get through here? There we go. Okay. There's like a bunch of trees here. I can't really see where I'm going. Uh, looks like we should be able to get up here pretty soon. Wow. I am moving at the same rate as, the, as this freaking water. This is so ridiculous okay let's get up here uh whereabouts is this explore note i think it's on the very top or maybe it's on it's definitely on the other side if anything is it up top i don't know it's over there somewhere uh i'm gonna have to find it we can wait for the flood waters to come in a little bit more all right we should probably get the raft on um on the hop bar there we go so what are we gonna need for that <gasps> oh oh that's just a parasaur oh god i thought that was a raptor for a second we're gonna need a bunch of wood. We're gonna need some hides. We're gonna we're gonna need to wait for this parasaur to drown. We got a bunch of drowning creatures over there. Everything's just dying right now. We need 250 wood. And then we also need the hide as well. Oh, and I also need to actually have a piece of land to stand on to place this. Oh, there's a bunch of raptors down there. Sea raptors. <laughs> Look at them. Oh my god. Alright, let me let me hop over here. Let me grab this parasaur. He's already drowned. This is so ridiculous. I don't have any other words to say. Like, this is such a strange experience. Just the idea that, like, the whole map is just going to flood, filled with water pretty soon. I don't know. It's a really, really crazy feeling. Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Come on, let me up, let me up. I wasn't watching my oxygen at all. Ooh, there we go. Okay, we're good. Um, Let me grab this explore note. And... There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, let me... We gotta get up here, so I'm gonna have to wait for the waters to get up there. Okay, so I did just have my first crash. We're probably gonna have a lot of those. Let's see. Uh, I did, unfortunately, lose my, my buff from my explore notes, but we're already really high level, so I think we're gonna be okay. 
I'm level, what level am I? Oh, I can't check unless I'm dismounted. 57 already, okay. Explore notes, OP. Honestly, the best way of leveling. Yeah, uh, we're gonna have to just, I don't even know where we're going. I guess towards the volcano. I mean, look at all that land up ahead of us there. Like that's actual land that we can stand on. Most of everything down here is just become water, unfortunately. Look at that, even that little hill behind me is just gone. We've got this tiny little mountain here. More like a hill, to be honest. There's no mountains in the south. They're all just little hills. All of this stuff will be underwater really, really soon. Look at the red obelisk. Oh my god, look at that. That is so ridiculous. Ah, uh, okay. So, um, to try and avoid crashing, which I really feel like is gonna happen, you know, all over the place, I'm gonna not go through the redwoods. I was initially thinking of doing that, but I feel like that's just gonna crash my game and, and explode my computer. I've got a really good computer. Honestly, it's really good, but I don't think we can go through there. It, it would not be a good idea. I don't like house fires. Interrupting this video for a quick little shout out to one of my partners here on this channel, Apex Gaming PCs. They're an awesome PC company and we basically put together some ARC capable PCs. If you're looking for a pre-built, definitely would recommend them. There's always a discount link down below. I don't even know where we're going now. Like I, I need dodos. I need to repopulate the world with dodos, but I don't know where to find any dodos that aren't drowned already. I mean, we could probably try to find them beside the volcano, but by the time I get over there I would say that the ocean will probably already have risen up a crap ton and we're not going to be able to get anything at all <laughs> the only creatures that are going to survive are the freaking stupid seagulls man and 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 pteranodons and maybe quetzals I don't even know if they fly this high they might already technically be underwater at this stage okay I'm not going to do this often I'm going to do this just once right now we're going to do it just real quick oh oh that is so insane that is so insane. Okay, I can't do that too much. Because if I do that, I'm being serious. Like, the game cannot handle this. <laughs> like, it's just gonna end up crashing. What on earth is that? Do you, do you see that? That is so weird looking. Is that like a little waterfall that we're seeing? Like, the texture of through the water? It's very strange. Like, obviously, the little lakes and stuff, if they're made out of the same water as, as you know, the ocean, then it's gonna, you know, completely submerge all of that. But if we see, like, a waterfall, it shouldn't actually turn into the normal water we should still see waterfalls underwater as weird as that sounds so yeah um we're approaching 100 meters of water boom there's no stopping it there really isn't like when is this gonna stop never probably i don't even know <laughs> oh dude this is ridiculous oh oh my god <laughs> this is spino <laughs> No, please have mercy, Spino. I don't think he's coming over here, but that is, that is terrifying. Um, one thing I'm kind of worried about is uh, the potential for lead sicknesses to just swim inland here and, and start nomming on my little raft. That will be bad, but also megalodoodles. There could easily be a bunch of megalodoodles throughout the land here. Like that, that is definitely a possibility. Okay, um, oh, dude, we're coming up to like the central river area right now. We're getting close-ish, I think. It's really hard to tell where I am and, and, and everything because, I mean, usually this is not filled with water. <laughs> oh, the redwoods is, like, so crazy looking, though. I, I really want to go over there, but it would not be a good idea. At the same time, I'm, I'm just curious if the thylas would let... Like, would they let go of the tree before they start drowning, do you think? Or would they just die on the tree? That's something I'm curious about. Look at that beautiful volcano. That is our new home up there where there's metal and there's crystal and obsidian and we can start a new life up there. And I don't know what, how we're gonna get wood, but we'll figure it out. We'll, we'll, we'll just have to rebuild the world from the top of the volcano. And we'll probably still have the blue obelisk area. I don't know, that might also be submerged as well. I feel like everything is just gonna be submerged at some point and it's gonna look crazy just standing on top of that volcano looking around this map. I can't wait. Um, okay, so here here we go. We're, we're getting to the central river right now. I really wanna look underwater. Let's do it. Oh, oh my God, that is deep. No way. Okay, well, there's there's obviously, like, a hill right there, and that's the forest leading up the hill. Like, there, the Redwoods is over in that direction. You can't see any of that. Oh, I know this area. I don't know what to call it, but I know this spot right here. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm so freaked out. Like, <laughs> this is such a strange thing to just see this whole map full of water. For Arc 2, I would absolutely love if they did some sort of dynamic rain system. My game just crashed. Oh, crap. 
Uh, all right, so I'm back. Uh, what was I even talking about? Dynamic rain systems for Arc 2. That would be really cool. Just like the idea of like an area that, you know, normally wouldn't have water in it and then like heavy rain comes down and then, you know, you just go to that area and it's just absolutely flooded and then sometimes it's like a dry season. I don't know. Something like that for Arc 2 would be really cool. Uh, anyway, let's focus a little bit more on our journey here in Arc 1 with the most broken mod ever. I, honestly, it's really well made. It's just this game cannot handle it at all. So, yeah. Uh, anyway, we need to get around the other side of the volcano, I think. I, I I do believe there's like a pathway up and I'm pretty sure it's it's almost unlike the other side, the opposite side of the volcano from where we are right now. So... I don't know. We're going to have to try and go all the way around here if we can. I don't know how waterlogged all of this up ahead here is. It looks to be pretty waterlogged. I don't know. There's like a massive plateau. If that's got water in it, then that's good for the moment. Um, eventually, we can kind of get to that pathway and then we can kind of like ditch the raft and I can run up. Hopefully, ideally. I don't know. I don't know if we're even going to be able to do this. There's the Chitin Cave, right? This is it. Oh my god, we're not even there yet. Look at that. The water's like only barely getting to this area here. I'd love to say I want to go check that out, but at the same time, I don't think that's a great idea for us. Uh, yeah, it's going to be completely waterlogged pretty soon, and getting out of this area would be a nightmare. All right, I guess we got to wait like a minute, unless I want to try and ditch the raft completely, which might not be a good idea, because I don't know if I'll be able to survive this area here. There's saber teeth and, and all sorts of bad things here, so maybe we need to just kind of chill on the raft. What happens if I just stay still on this thing? Does it, like, sink? Uh-oh. Oh, uh, we are sinking a little bit. Oh! Oh, no, it pops back up. Okay, that's good. Maybe I can kind of just, like, chill here until the water reaches the certain level and then raft my way through this, this field right here. <laughs> all right, here we go. We have ourselves a little pathway through. <laughs> all right, I think we're good, right? Like, we should be able to make it through here. Kind of. I mean, you know, my little my little pathway, I, I suppose, is getting deeper and wider every second. So we should be good. I'm a little bit worried about that Therizinosaurus, though. That is a little bit scary. Oh, my God. This whole place is flooded. I thought this, this area was, like, higher ground. I don't know why. Man, like, the only safe spots right now are literally just around the mountains for the moment and then the tops of the mountains eventually maybe not all of them i mean that one there is pretty high so is that one but like they're not as high as the volcano and there's a bunch of other mountains back there that we don't want to talk about because they won't exist for very much longer <laughs> all right let's keep heading around this direction like there's there's some sort of pathway i know there is uh I, I just don't know exactly where it starts but i'm sure we'll be able to find it soon enough uh, we should probably not go too far north. Um, obviously, there's bad creatures there, and they could easily be at the sur surface of the water waiting for me, but it also gets really cold up there, and I've just noticed that I am freezing. Let's see if we can sort that out. Do we have some... Yeah, we can probably make some some cloth armor. We got the pants. We got the boots. I'm looking pretty stylish. Oh, is that a metal node? Oh, dude, let's grab some metal real quick. We can actually do things. Look at this. There's, like, some legit metal right here. All right, let's see. Uh, I will hop in for a second and just grab as much as we can. And then we shall head straight back out. Let's see. Okay. I don't know how much I want to grab. Let's at least grab, like, maybe 20 pieces or something. And then we'll, we'll have to probably move. I'm very nervous about my raft not popping up to the surface of the water constantly. And actually not really sinking, but not floating or whatever. There we go. I think we're good, right? Yeah, we're good. Oh my god, look at this. Okay, well, we got a Carno up ahead. We gotta watch out for him. Um, this area here is gonna take a while to flood. We gotta wait for that little hill to flood over, and then we can probably go over there, I think. I think we should be good. So are we crashing again? Oh, we're totally crashing. Okay, so we are back, but a lot of it had flooded between when I crashed and when I got back on. Um... I, I, the, the, the whole place looked different. It really did. Uh, <laughs> okay, I guess we're gonna just keep sailing in this direction here. Eventually, I want to ditch this raft. I feel like it's the raft that's really, like, crashing me a lot. Because I didn't crash until I got a raft. And then, you know, well, I guess I didn't actually crash until... Yeah, the first time I didn't crash when I had the raft. That was weird. Oh, did I just crash again? Are you kidding me? Come on, please. Okay, I think I see the pathway. It's right above my head right there. So if we go a little bit further in this direction, we should be able to actually get up on it. Is that it right there? Is that the start? No. Is that the start? I 
feel like it might be. Hmm. I'm kind of tempted to hop off and, and see if we can do it. No, that's not the very start, is it? I don't think so. We're definitely really close, though. Um, yeah, we might need to go a little bit further. Dude, that was the start. Okay, hang on, hang on. Let me hop off then. <laughs> I want off this raft ASAP. All right, bye raft. We'll see ya. Never stupid raft. Freaking crashing my server, potentially. I don't know. Maybe it's the rising tides, the, the water filling up the whole map. I really just want to get to the top of the freaking volcano. That's all I need. I just need to get up there. I just need to see this world filled with water. Okay, we just gotta hope uh, that there's no bad creatures up here. All right, come on. We should be okay, right? Is that blue drop? Uh, it's only coming down now. Screw it. The what? Oh, it's a dodic. Oh, that scared me. The water's gonna probably, you know, take over that area before the before the blue drop actually gets down. So there's really no point of waiting around for it. Um, ah, oh, dude, I'm so disappointed that I couldn't actually manage to get myself some dodos. That would have been great. Honestly, that would have been so funny to try and bring two dodos up to the top of the volcano and restart the world somehow. I don't know. <laughs> oh, dude. Okay. Look at all this freaking metal, man. There's so much. We just got to keep running here. We really do. Uh, maybe I should be saving some stamina just in case we're coming up on something. Easily could be some hyenodons or something on this mountain. Like, honestly. Uh, do I have anything that I can craft? Spears, if I had some wood, which I might be able to get because I can see a tree. All right, let's see. There's the tree. Give me some of that wood. All right. Okay, let's have a little look down here because, like, the water's just going to continuously rise here. So, honestly, we're, like, really far above it right now. So, we should be good. I'm very curious if my raft is actually going to float up here. I really doubt it because it's probably not loaded in. So yeah, the raft is gone. Rip raft. We'll never see it again, which is probably a good thing. Let's get that made. Let's get that made. Let's get some arrows made. Uh, we can make 13. That's a good amount for the moment. All right, got a torch coming. Here we go. Because it is kind of getting a little bit dark right now. It's like 8 o'clock, so we got to keep moving up this volcano or we're never going to make it. I think, yeah, this is like basically the top of the freaking volcano. Look at this. Oh my god, we got so much time. Holy crap. <laughs> All right, let me run over here. This place is usually not flooded with creatures, right? We should be good. Oh, it is very hot, though. Uh-oh. Okay. <laughs> you know what? I'm really curious what the tech cave would be like. Like, does it does it flood? Because it's the entrance is right there, you know? Would it flood up, and, and could we go in there? <laughs> and would it just be filled with water? That would be insane. All right, so if we stand here, we're good. We're not too hot. If we walk basically over this little lip right here. Yeah, super hot. Uh, super normal. Super hot. Okay, that makes... N no, no, that doesn't make any sense at all. All right, I think I'm just going to wait over here and just watch the floodwaters just come in here. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, we're like 330 meters of water so far. So we're coming up on 500 meters right now, and uh, I was a little bit thirsty. Here we go. Let me grab some water. Can I even do it? There we go. Sweet. Okay. Also, it is morning time now. It's 5, basically 6 a.m. <laughs> I was just watching the water just slowly rise up here, and it's really beautiful, but also kind of terrifying. Like, the whole mountain over there, it looks like it's gone. I can't really tell because it's foggy and it's morning time. Oh my god. Wait, wait, wait. I just realized something. I just realized what happens in here i'm just gonna assume that the water would rise up from the lava right oh i should have come in here to check oh that's crazy looking oh dude that is so insane look at the lava oh my god it looks green it's because obviously the blue and the yellowy orange from the lava is like combining to make almost like a green color dude this is like the ultimate freaking hot springs area I should start charging people to come here. That's actually really insane, though. Oh, my God. Whoa. That is... Why am I able to just see right through the water like this? That surely is not normal. Uh, I guess water is not usually supposed to be in this area. That is awesome looking, though. I didn't even realize. I should have been watching this thing the whole time. God, I guess this area right here does dip down quite a lot. So, uh, I, I guess if the inside of the volcano floods up and the outside of the volcano floods up, then where is safe? Anywhere? I, I don't... I don't know. <laughs> oh, dude. Like, how... Co okay, here's the water. Yeah, it's basically right here. And then over here, is it like... Yeah, it's, it's pretty much up here as well. 
Okay, cool. Um, is anywhere going to be safe? Do I have to wait for the waters to get to a certain point and then maybe can I get up there? That would be cool. Honestly, maybe I should have been spending this time trying to actually get myself some like grapples or something. Uh, I don't even know what we're going to do here. Like the water's just going to keep coming. It's never going to stop, is it? <laughs> That's where we need to be up there for sure. Uh, do you, do I even have any resources to be able to do anything? I was just too mesmerized watching the waters flood up this whole arc. Uh, I guess we could try and build something. Let's see. Can we build out a thatch instead? Let's build a thatch foundation. Maybe we can build some ladders and then like a ceiling or something. I don't even know. Uh, do we have any ladders here? Let's see. Where's the ladder? Uh, there's some ladders. I can make a couple. All right. We might be able to get to high ground here. Let's see. I'm probably also going to need another foundation, right? Maybe. I don't know. I'm going to need some way of like getting onto some area once I get these ladders placed down. Uh, okay. <laughs> Where's a good spot to get you? Maybe up there. Um, is that even going to be enough? Oh, I can't even build here. Yeah, you're not able to build here. Okay, great. You know, there's one thing that could have saved this arc, and that is a toilet. If I had to just placed one down at the deepest part of this, this floodwaters, maybe we could flush it and, and survive. <laughs> could you imagine? You just like flush the toilet and then all the waters just go down and everything's fine. Oh, dude, is this ever going to stop? I'm just going to stand here. We're just going to see where this takes us. I mean, it might open up new areas where I can get onto in a minute. Maybe. <laughs> I feel like up there, I could probably try to get up to some areas. I don't know what's up there. Oh, the meter just disappeared. Have we reached the maximum? I, th I think so. All right. Well, anyway, I think that's probably got to be it for this little, not even challenge, just experiment more more so let's uh let's do some flying all right just wanted to wait for the uh the raid to stop this is so cool looking like this is the highest point on the island and it's now waterlogged and <laughs> i don't even know what to say that is so crazy looking oh my god i mean like this is what like 530 meters apparently of of water you know, if you go down to the beach, that's the deepest point. Obviously, if you go down to the ocean, it's even deeper. I would consider that to be the deep ocean now. But, like, look at this. This is ridiculous. Let me go over here and check out Blue Ob. I don't know. We might end up crashing here. Hopefully not. This is all just gone. Oh, we have a tiny little bit of land left over here. Wow. Okay. Uh, where? Okay, where's the other obelisks? It's so hard to be able to see everything. Where even am I? I don't even know where I am. Uh, there's Red Ob, I think. I think I see it through the cloud. Let's check it out. Oh, yeah. That is partially submerged. Oh. That, that right there. That right there is like a freaking... Oh, that's a crash. <laughs> I was about to say, that's like a, a wallpaper, man. That is so cool. All right. Well, anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this video. I, I wanted this video to be more of like an actual survival challenge, but like I needed to get on that raft. And, and then once we were on that, there was no way I was able to leave that or do anything else, really. So, yeah. Again, uh, this mod will not be public. Sorry, I, I don't want to be to blame for your arcs flooding and all your creatures dying, but also it's not insanely stable with the way that this game runs. The game does not like it. The mod is great. The game just does not appreciate it. So anyway, yeah, if you guys have enjoyed this video, go ahead, do me a favor, hit the like button. If you want to see more like this, you can, of course, subscribe. If you have any crazy ideas like this, I'd love to throw money at people to make them happen. So drop them down below, and I'll catch you in the next one.